Okay, and we are back. We have level two, I want to say, but realistically, chapter one, my bad, because prologue doesn't count. We defeated two enemies. Okay. <clears throat> the apprentice tactician Abe and the young sword fighter Lin. A strange pair on an even stranger journey. To prepare for the long road ahead, they go to Balgar, the commercial center of Saki. Unbeknownst to Lin, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. Ooh, footsteps of fate. Abe, over here. This is Bulger, the biggest city in all of Saki. We should purchase supplies for a journey. Oh, my heart. What a dazzling vision of loveliness. Hmm? Wait. Oh, beauteous one. Would you not favor me with your name, or better yet, your company? Where, where are you from, Sir Knight, that you speak so freely to a stranger? Ha! I thought you'd never ask. I'm from Lycia. I hail from the Kalean Canton, home of men of passion and fire. Shouldn't that be home to callow oafs with loose tongues? Ooh, you're even more lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Abe. I have nothing more to say. Wait, please! Sane, hold your tongue. Ah, Kent, my boon companion. Why? So severe an expression. If your manner were more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sen. I know that, but how can I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? It, it would have been discourteous. What do you know of courtesy? Excuse me, you're blocking the road. If you would be so kind as to move your horses. Of course, my apologies. Thank you. At least you seem to have some honor. Hmm. Pardon me. But I feel we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent. I saw her first. Tsk. Seems there are no decent mongolin be like in knights. Let's go, Abe. I've run out of patience. Wait, please. It's not like that. <sighs> Saying you lout. Huh? N not like that. I thought you were... I am not you. Come on, we must follow her. I suspect she might be... Be what? She's our mission? You're joking. Wait. Run. We're being pursued. Could it be those knights from town? No. It's not them. These men are out for blood. <laughs> you are the pretty one. Your name is Lydness, is it not? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. The things I'll do for gold. Ah, well. Time to die, darling. Come on. Come on out, boys. Oh, no. There are more than I can handle. But I'll not give up. Hey! There she is! Huh? What? Whew! Finally caught up. Hold, you there! What is your business? Such numbers against a girl? Cowards! Every one of you. You? You're from... We can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. If it's a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back. I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight. Stay out of my way. Well, I can't just stand here do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us. I'm Kent, a knight of Lycia. My company is saying we will follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, milady? Yes, it is. Abe and I will lead. Let's go. You, you're called Abe? 
I want to impress my beauteous one. Let me attack first. Okay, Sane is a dog. I am a big fan of Sane. I like Kent. He's stoic. I can respect it. In real life, I feel like he'd be more respectable. But in this game, Sane's just so funny. But he's a man. We're going to try and skip a lot of this tutorial stuff. But See, Iron Lance against the axe. Tutorial makes us do stupid things. But so does love. Okay, let's go. Yeah. 67% hit, and I miss. But he hits me in the last level with like 40%. Right? Whoa, I'm, I missed. Sane, why aren't you using your sword? The lance is more heroic. A knight should look heroic, don't you think? You're hopeless. If you don't take fighting more seriously, you're gonna find yourself on the end of a blade. Truth be told, I forgot to buy a sword. Forgot. You, you were simply too busy dallying with the ladies. Don't be so mad. I'll be fine with a lance. I'm that good. I prefer to rely on your skill, not your empty bragging. Take my spare blade and use it to attack next time. Are you sure? <laughs> my thanks, Kent. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Got that sword. Kent comes through. Kent is a good friend. You gotta give him that. Hey, allow me to make up for my command. Companion's blunder. I'm at your command. Uh, you know, sometimes I feel bad and I like saying so much more. Because Kent just has a heart of gold. That's okay. It's gonna be annoying for the first couple chapters because really we're just looking at storyline. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't have much choice in what I can do here. He's almost defeated now. Let's deliver the final blow. Yeah, it's just, he must be next to the Alright, science so over. You know what? It's been a while since I played this game, and I'm just reading through the story again. Yeah. Abe, give me another chance. And I gotta say, I'm just feeling insane this time around. I I like this character a lot. We might actually have to level him up a ton, unless you guys tell me in the comments that you have other characters you really want leveled up. I'm gonna make Sane. Uh, I'm gonna make Sane a beast. I feel like he deserves it. Plus paladin, paladins in this game. Mm. Epic. Look at that move rate, right, you know? Right off the bat. That is disappointing. Oh my God. That was stupid. Gah! Sane, are you alright? Yes, yes, I, I am. I, I was able to dodge in time. I can't believe he evaded my sword stroke so easily. This is no jest? Look closely. The enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? You're right. I was so focused on attacking. I didn't see. Your lack of attention may someday cost you your life. Fine, I, I understand already. Let it go, Ken. If you truly understand, then act like it. Kent worries too much. He's gonna grow old before his time. Ready for battle. Command me as you will. Direct me to attack. I'm ready and I'm able. Yeah, that's my bad. I didn't really want to. Okay. You gotta love an underdog, and I feel like the game just favors Kent right off the first chapter. It seems like a wise decision to leave that bandit to the knights. You're right. Let's get you up. So if you guys haven't played this game, I'm kind of skipping over it, but 
the be sawed a little bit basically if you're inside like the the little forest it's gonna make it harder for them to hit so in a case like Lynn here it's good to just wait there for a second if you can you your name is Sane right yes Sane the gallant man of Kalian that's me if you insist why have you not healed yourself huh hey I, I've been injured <laughs> what a cat I am to wrinkle that perfect brow of yours with worry for me. Uh, I was thinking of giving you a vulnerary, but it looks like you're fine, so never you mind. No, wait, I'll take it, please, I'll take it. Uh, he needs help. <laughs> I can't keep such a generous offer waiting. The healing power of love awaits with Yawn Angel. Abe, Terry no longer. I forgot how old the English was in this game. Kinda just makes him that much more epic. Okay, we get it. Ah, much better. Thanks, Abe. You have my gratitude as well, my angel. I can't avoid the leveling up Lynn. Like, I feel like I think she's a pretty decent character later on. So I want to level her up, but I'm just going to hog a little bit with, uh, with Sane if I can for a while because we're just going to have some fun with him in this playthrough. some autonomy. We're attacking the same. Accursed knights. Always tampering in other affairs. That's the plan. What do we got? She's level two. He's level one. Pff, unacceptable. Unacceptable. He has to be level two. We're going to give it to him. I feel like if we make him strong enough, maybe he won't get shunned. The ladies can only resist him for so long. Levels up early game are so good. Oh, it's tempting to give it to her still. No. Stay focused. Let's go. Kill him. Blast. There was only supposed to be alone girl die that's the last of them fantastic work Abe oh I love the artwork in this game Lynn and now for these Knights of Lycia you were going to share your story with me We have ventured from Kalian in Lycia in search of someone. Lycia? That's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the lady, Madeline, who eloped with the nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? 
our lord the Marquess of Colleen's only daughter. He was heartbroken in his own uh, he was heartbroken his own daughter would abandon him so eventually the Marquess simply prepared that he had no daughter. And then this year we received a letter from La Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Saki Plains. The Marquess was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he suddenly became a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lydness. This was also the name of the Marquess's wife, who passed away at an early age. Lydness that she should bear this name thawed the Marcus's heart. Now, his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. But we also learned all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone on the plains. I, I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lydness. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Colleen. To the rest of my tribe, I, I was always Lynn. But when I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lydness. It's all so strange. I, I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather? Goodness, I never thought I would hear that name again. Wait, uh, that bandit, he called me Lydness too. What? How, how could he have? He was a henchman of Lord Lugrid. I gotta skip some over there, guys. Abe, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Abe? You want me to decide? Of course. The companionship will do much to ease my journey, but it's gonna be so dangerous. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you. Of course we're gonna come. Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. All right. So that's uh, chapter one finished up. Things are gonna finally start getting pretty interesting with... Uh, Lynn's story here and with the game I know there's like at least going to be three more chapters that have a little bit of um, tutorial in them but it's going to be less and less each chapter and then we're going to have kind of free range which will be a lot of fun so uh, when it comes to the reading of this it's a little bit tricky figuring out exactly when to tap A for the next line to come up so if it seems a little bit uh, off hopefully we will get better at it as time goes on for now Thanks for watching the video. It's a lot of fun. I'm a nostalgic guy. I like playing these old games, right? It was like 15 years ago that I played this for the first time, so it brings me back. If you feel this game brings you back, of course, I want to hear about it in the comments. And if you've never played this game before, first of all, you've got to do that. Get your hands on an emulator or something. Um, or second, just check out the storyline by watching us. That'd be fantastic here. So. I just want to thank you once again watching the video, and I hope that you go and have an awesome day. All right, bye.